Hey everyone, back here for another video. My first ever Bluetooth keyboard was this Blue K380 and I had used it since 2017. Now, though I have many other keyboards, I'm still using the K380, but this time it's the K380S. I made many videos on the K380 and K380S, but still, there are many of you out there who have similar questions on how to use this keyboard with the iPad. So let me try to answer some of these frequently asked questions right here in this video. The code. Many ask why they need to reconnect the K380 or the K380S all the time with their iPad, or they always get this code. I explained this in many of my other videos, but I will explain it again. This code comes up first time you try to pair and connect the K380S keyboard, or if you haven't paired it at some point. So when you see this code, type it like this, and you will not see anything being typed, and that is okay. After you type the code, press enter. Do not click on cancel. Wait for this pop-up to automatically disappear. Once the pop-up disappears, you will see the Pebble K380S is successfully connected. Another question I get often is if there is a shortcut or a way to customize the K380S keys to adjust the screen brightness of the iPad. And the answer is no. There are different options to change how some of the function keys work, but you need the Logitech Options Plus app to do that. And this app is not available and cannot be used with the iPad. It is only compatible with Windows or Mac. I tested this with a MacBook and there is the option to change some of these function keys to adjust the screen brightness. But when I switch back to the iPad, those changes and customizations do not work and it's not applied on the iPad. So again, there's no keyboard shortcut on the K380S to adjust the screen brightness of the iPad. On to the next question. Can my iPad 7, 8, 9, 10 or iPad Air work with a K380S? And yes, the K380S works with all operating system. Go to Logitech's website to find the latest list of compatible devices. I also added the link in the video description, so please check that out so you will know if your iPad is compatible with the K380S. On to the next question. How can I type the at sign? At first, I was surprised to see this question until I saw that there are different key layouts depending on the language. So for those asking this question, I imagine they're using a non-English version. I am using the US English layout, so I have the at sign on this key together with the number two. For other layouts, the at sign could be in a different key, like for the German layout, it is on the letter G, or for the French layout, it is on the key before number one. Or the at sign can also be in the number two key, but it comes with another special character. So to type the at sign, you need to use the combination of the alt with that GR symbol plus shift plus number two. You will see the special character with a lighter print and you will see the right alt key with the GR symbol that matches the print of the special character. So that is your clue that this is the key to use to type those special characters. For other special characters that usually use the combination of the alt key plus the numbers that are on the numpad in a full keyboard, that can be typed on this small keyboard too. For example, if you do the alt plus shift plus eight, that is the degree symbol. So play around with the alt plus other numbers or letters or the combination of alt plus shift plus the numbers or letters and other keys and hopefully you will find the special character that you need. Next question I also get is that caps lock is not working for them. And this could be something you need to check in your iPad settings. So first go to general settings and into keyboard hardware. Scroll down and check the option switch language using caps lock. If this is turned on, then you need to turn it off. If it still does not work, then check under keyboard settings and check if enable caps lock is turned on. If still it doesn't work after you check these two settings, 
Check the modifier settings that's inside hardware keyboard settings. If the caps lock key is not set to something else. As we see here, mine is set to a globe key. And so once I change it to caps lock, now caps lock works as it should. Next question is if they switch to another device from the keyboard, will it automatically switch the mouse too? Well, the answer is no, it's not possible in the iPad. There is the Logitech flow that when you set up your mouse and switch or move to another device, the keyboard will also switch, but you need to set this up in the Logitech's Option Plus app, which again, this app is not available on the iPad. So there's no way to do this on the iPad, but you may be able to do this on a Mac or Windows. Next question, how to type the emojis in chats? Well, simple answer, use the dedicated key on the K380S, which is here on F8. And lastly, if I want to change language, how can I do it? If you're using the old K380, you can do the shortcut function plus insert key. As you see here, there's the globe sign here that is for changing languages. But if you're using the K380S, this globe icon is no longer there. So what you can do is the shortcut control plus spacebar to change the language. So hope you got some answers to your questions in this video. Share it to anyone who may need it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.